we're just walking through the forest and it's absolutely beautiful here like actually stunning we have a stream on our right it's really really pretty and I'm just going under some branches now I just gotta watch my foot and <laughs> It's kind of wet here and it's been super stormy and super windy so it's really cold that's why we're dressed up like this there's legit sheep in this forest i saw some sheep crazy sheep everywhere in wales wait oh my god i can hear the wind in front of me crazy Okay, when I just said there's some wind up ahead, it was actually a waterfall. What the hell? It's amazing. Holy shit, it's so loud. I'm only wearing trainers today. The others have their walking boots on because they're sensible and I'm not. So I'm wearing trainers and my feet already feel a little bit wet, but it doesn't matter because look at this place. I mean, isn't this just so beautiful? The mountain up there. This is exactly why I'm more of a mountain person than a sea person because I love mountains and forests and birds of prey and wildlife and of the mountains and the Welsh hills, you can't really get much better than this, can you? See, this is exactly what I mean. In my trainers, trying to get across. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got wet feet. <laughs> Made it. Well behind me that's what did you say it was called Toey Fowl. Fowl that big one there it's called Toey Fowl and from the top of there you can see all of the Brecon beacons and that one there what's that one called mum the other one okay well we can't it's, it's Guan Rid or something <laughs> Guan Rid something like that but yeah amazing we've just taken a walk down through that forest but we are climbing, climbing, climbing all the way to the top where the car is and I am so hot and my mum is actually so tired she's sitting on the salt bin <laughs> taking a rest I think I will too I love this but we don't remember what it's called we had it in the garden and it was pink and it was like pink candy floss but this one's white so I'll call it white candy floss if this isn't Tolkien country I don't know what is 
he came here before he wrote his books. Before he wrote The Hobbit, he came to Wales for a holiday. We think it was incredibly inspired. Um, like the Lonely Mountain looks awfully like a mountain called the Sugarloaf near us. And we honestly think he took his inspiration from Middle Atherin here. I mean, isn't it just beautiful? Doesn't it look like it? to the top. With all that walking, we made it up the steep incline and behind us is that hill, which we said looks like a beanie hat. My brother wears lots of beanie hats that look like that, so that's what we're going to name it. But yeah, this is the forest. Did our walk, it was lovely. Sheep everywhere, look. Whales. Yeah, well worth it. <laughs> okay, so the good news is there's a beautiful waterfall just there. But the bad news is, I have to walk across this in my trainers. I'm wearing trainers. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to get extremely wet right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm wet. <laughs> The best thing about getting back uh, yeah, is eating bourbon biscuits, biscuits chip, chip. in the car whilst they're all changing their shoes, which is making up for the fact that I have very wet, muddy feet. But hey, isn't it nice to go and walk I don't, I don't and come back and eat bourbon biscuits? So this is a little bit of an outro and an intro put together because we've just come back from a walk So this is technically an outro, but I didn't expect to film it or vlog it So I didn't do like an intro of any kind or say where we were going So we went to the Brecken's and we went on a really really pretty forest walk which came um, Outside to the bottom of some hills and then we ended up walking up this really kind of big hilly mountain Which is really really beautiful and it looked like Tolkien country and JR Tolkien before he wrote The Hobbit he came to Wales for a holiday and I genuinely believe and I think it's written somewhere as well that he might have mentioned about taking inspiration from Wales before he sort of planned and, and built and wrote and described Middle Earth being so beautiful and as it is so it really felt like I was in Middle Earth today I always feel like that when I'm in Wales but particularly this area we went to alright guys well thank you for watching remember to thumbs up the video if you liked it and you'd like to see more from Wales and remember to subscribe and hit the alert button so you can see when I next upload a video straight away and yeah I'll see you in some more videos tonight I'm gonna do some more drawing and play some more Final Fantasy 14 because the patch only came out this week and I'm really into it and I want to do some primal farming and all of that casual stuff <laughs> but I'm just about to have dinner I'm super hungry about to have pasta and sun-dried tomato I made a pasta with sun-dried tomatoes and cucumber and pepper so it's more like a salad but yeah I'm gonna go eat that now and thank you for watching and see you again soon bye